Holy shit. What the hell went... Greg, what the fuck? Who, why Why would anybody kill Greg? <laughs> like, what, what did he do? Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to the channel. My name is Logan, and today we are back reading the weirdest Diary of a Wimpy Kid fanfiction stories for part five. And today I was going to make a different type of video, but I just wanted to read a couple of these weird ass stories. And today I want to do something a little bit different and read like super, super small stories that are only like a page or two long. So the first story that we're going to read is Journal of a Part-Time Hitman. But what's pretty weird about these short stories is they give like no context at all. So it's just pretty confusing for the most part. So... If it doesn't really make sense, then, then it's just how the story's made. Tony, please, I'm here for work. Give me a target. Me and Tony, we've got a simple deal. He gives me a guy to take care of. I get paid. It's simple. I don't enjoy it, but I'm good at it. There's worse ways to get cash. It beats minimum wage at Corny's, I guess. Today, I couldn't use a gun. I hate improvising. And yeah, that's pretty much the entire story, so... Roderick over here, he's a hitman, and talks to this dude, Tony, so he gets targets that he can just kill, and then he gets paid. I mean, yeah, that was a pretty weak story, because, you know, it kind of made no sense, because we have no context, but whatever. I kind of like that story, Roderick as a hitman. Now, the next story is the new hitman. Holy shit! What the hell went- Greg, what the fuck? Who, why Why would anybody kill Greg? <laughs> like, what, what did he do? Why did he have to get shot in the stomach by this dude over here? Hey, this is the same guy that shot Greg in the ass and Greg goes to Vietnam in the last episode. After a deal gone wrong, Tony fired me from the group. After that, I looked through the dark web, scouring for a good guy to replace me. I found a kid, and he was good. He had a very powerful rifle, a killing machine. But there was an issue. One day... He was following Greg around, oh no, before I could step in, bang, he took the shot, all I could hear was screaming, my own brother's corpse lay there. Okay, what? Is this like, part of the exact same story, because I'm assuming this is Roderick, and Greg got shot, so Greg can't be the one writing this, and he said Tony, which was the guy from the last story that would give him the targets. So now I'm confused because I don't think that these are related, but man, th these stories are something else. All right, now for this story, it is called Sword Wimp Online. Sounds pretty weird, but in this story, we actually get what's going on. So me, Rowley, and thousands of other players are stuck in this stupid Japanese VR game. We die in the game, we die in real life. I knew it was too good to be true. It has been around a week now and over a thousand players have already died. Yesterday, some guys decided to get a group of people and tried to defeat the first level boss. I convinced Rowley to join the raid party with me because if I spend one more minute farming on the scat pigs planes, I'm going to lose my damn mind. When I met the group, I knew it couldn't end well. Most of them wore black equipment and had edgy usernames. <laughs> the leaders riled us up and off we went into the boss room. To put it simply, it was a massive shitstorm. Even after carefully planning, everyone tried to be a lone wolf anime protagonist who'd kill the boss alone. The boss wiped that unorganized mess out pretty quickly. Good thing I've leveled up my loot skills. The stuff that the guys on our group dropped on death sales for a crap ton of gold. And yeah, again, that's pretty much the end of the story. So these are really short and I don't know, I, I kind of like them, but you just don't get that much context. All right, so this story is called Greg Attempts to Survive. Tuesday, I've decided to do jobs with Roger. Working with Emilio was a more simple ordeal. Simple job, easily done. Roderick, however, demands a little more. Uh, Roderick, you sure about this job? It seems kind of... Oh, quit whining, you piece of shit. <laughs> well, I get paid enough to keep the fucking landlord away. Rowley, on the other hand, is pissed that I'm working with him. He's consistently been blabbering about it, always screaming at me saying that Emilio's gonna kill me. Whatever. He's been out of town for weeks. What are the chances he'll find out anyways? Well, hey, now I can pay off that fucking gambling debt with Fregley. <laughs> Again... What job are they even talking about? <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. All I know is that Greg apparently has a house. 
because he said he's keeping the landlord away because he's paying him. Uh, I don't know what the job is. So, yeah, these stories are just confusing, but they're pretty fun. All right, so this story is called Ramblings of a Terrified Manny. Mom is acting strange. She won't talk to me. Bubby and Dad scream when the TV's on. Ah. Maybe if I give Bubby a gift, he will quit acting so creepy. Again, this makes no sense. What the hell is going on? I have no clue. They just don't have eyes and they don't have mouths. Or they do have mouths, but they don't have eyes. That is, I don't, again, I don't know what's going on. This is weird as hell. Okay, so this next story is called Manny is Acting Weird. Manny's been acting weird lately. It started with him being unresponsive. He would just sit in his crib for hours on end until he got hungry. He wouldn't acknowledge any of us. He did this for about two days. He's acting normal for the most part now, but the things he watches on TV are a bit unsettling. Damn, what is he watching on TV? Greg is over here saying, what the fuck? Man, he's just going, mmm. Man, this story is just weird. We need more parts to this because you can't just write something like that and then just have nothing else to go with it. That, that kind of sucks, man. That's, I bet you that story would have been so cool if they kept going on with that too. Alright, so this story is called Intermission. It happened again. That motherfucker threw more trash at our property again. Dad was absolutely livid, and so was I. We went to confront him about it, and just like the other times, he said it wasn't his problem. Dad got fed up with that bullshit, so we both went back inside and grabbed our guns. When we came back, our neighbor had not only grabbed the bat, but the dumb fuck also began to threaten us. And that cunt of a wife started filming us. I thought that his dumbass would soon wise up, but that did not happen. It happened so fast. That dumb fuck threw a baseball bat at my father. <laughs> I wasn't having none of that shit. So I shot the bastard <laughs> on his ugly mug. What the fuck did he think was going to happen? Now me and my dad are in big fucking trouble. Great. What the fuck? This guy really just smacked Greg's dad over the head with a baseball bat and then got shot in the face by Greg. <laughs> Alright, so this story is called Greg Explores Himself. Dad found my fleshlight today after I forgot to clean it and it started to stink. I've been trying to use my hand but at this point I'm so desensitized to mainstream porn that it's hard to get off anymore. I've been exploring my deepest fetishes to try to combat this and I think I might be a fur- Oh hell no. <laughs> oh no. Oh god, is this the origin story to Greg the Furry? Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> it, it might it's all connected. It's all connected. This is how Greg becomes a furry. Oh fuck. But this is how he becomes a furry. It, look at this. Look! Look! Look at the games he's playing. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. Well, I guess now, if you haven't watched Greg the Furry, I'll just put a link to the top right if you want to click that. It'll take you straight to it. But I guess this is the origin for Greg the Furry. It's all connected. All right, and for the last short story we're going to read, this one is called Greg Gets Assassinated. Oh my god, Greg just keeps getting shot in the ass. This is the third time that he's been shot in the ass during this series. The job went bad. Boss fired me, and his goons are out for my blood. Then I got an idea. I told Greg to follow me into the forest, so at least I can spend some valuable bonding time before one of us fucking dies. But a goon knew. Greg was taken out, shot right in the back. And all of this because of one fucking target. Okay, I'm assuming this is Roderick again, and this had something to do with that Tony dude, but... Holy shit, man. There's no context. It's so annoying. But yeah, that was pretty much all of the stories that we're gonna go over today. I hope you guys like these shorter stories. I I'm not too sure how I feel about them because some of them were like pretty good, but some of the other ones are just like, I don't know. They just kind of sucked. My favorite one by far was the origin to Greg becoming a furry. That was hilarious. But yeah, that was the end of the video. I hope all you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more parts of the weird Diary of Wimpy Kid stories. But that's the end of the video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.